Hi guys, uh, welcome to another tutorial on IT dot tutorials. I am Josef Bodnar. I invite you to another tutorial regard to GTI plus uh, graphics uh, programming using uh, C sharp. This tutorial has the goal to talk about the point and point F structures. In GTI plus, the point structure represents an ordered pair of integer x and y coordinates that define a point in a two-dimensional plane. I'm going to create a, a new project from scratch and in this way you will understand better how these uh, two structure point and point F work uh, in uh, practice. All right, so click, uh, I'm going to use Visual Studio 2019, uh, click on uh, create a new project, select the Windows form up and inside the parentheses .NET framework, click next. Here, write the name of your uh, project. Uh, I'm going to write uh, structure. Structure point demo. Yeah, and here I'm going to write uh, extra, this uh, SN, uh, which uh, means uh, solution. Click on create, and here you go. Here is my uh, project, uh, this uh, form uh, one. I am going to make... Uh, a few changes uh, here in properties. I'm going to change the name of this uh, form. Let it be uh, point structure, point uh, uh, structure demo. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's go up here. I'm looking for a back color. Here you go. And uh, I'm going to set another back color. Let it be this uh, yellow. Uh, it doesn't look very good. Uh, let's see this. Yeah, this one looks uh, better. And I'm, I'm going to go upper here to change the name uh, associated uh, with a method uh, which uh, is uh, used uh, in relation with the event uh, and in relation with this uh, form. Yeah, so uh, FRM point structure. Yeah, it's enough. Uh, just this uh, structure and demo. All right, good. I'm going to place a button on this form. Here you go. I'm going to place it here in this uh, right uh, bottom corner. Change the properties. Let's change the name. Draw a line. So this is the scope of this tutorial. Uh, I want this application to draw a line after I press uh, a click on this uh, button. Yeah, using uh, that uh, structure or the, those uh, structure uh, point and point F. All right, let's go up uh, here and let's change the back color. Okay, I'm gonna to use uh, a green. Okay. Let's change the size of a font. Let it be 10. Yeah, okay. All right. And bold. Okay, looks better. The name for this uh, button uh, BTN draw line. Okay. I go here in solution. I'm going to change uh, the name, uh, which is uh, associated uh, with a partial class of uh, this uh, form, and I'm going to name it FRM point uh, structure from structure and demo. All right, enter. Okay, uh, now I'm going to give a double click on this uh, button, draw a line. This uh, took me inside uh, this uh, method, private void uh, btn draw line method with this uh, event uh, click. Yeah. Now uh, let's uh, create uh, an object using uh, the point uh, structure. So uh, this is the point uh, structure. As you can see here uh, is this uh, blue rectangle, which uh, means uh, this uh, point is a uh, structure. And you go uh, on the right side and here you have the explanation. and. Uh, the structure uh, is written with uh, blue. All right, let's go further and let's uh, create uh, 
a starting point as i told you the structure the point structure define a point in a uh, two-dimensional plane yeah so i'm going to create a classic instance using this uh, new keyword all right again this point uh, structure parentheses now here uh, we have uh, so this structure has a uh, four overloaded yeah as you can uh, C. All right. Or for overload. Yeah. So the first one uh, doesn't have any uh, parameter. The next one has an integer parameter. Uh, another one has an object of this uh, size. And uh, uh, the last one uh, has uh, this uh, two integer uh, parameter X and Y, which uh, actually means the starting point. Uh, if you want to uh, draw, for example, a, a line. So uh, I'm going to give for a x uh, 10 and for y another uh, 10 uh, semicolon all right okay now i'm going to create a new point using the same uh, structure point and i'm going to name it a new uh, p uh, equal with a new the, uh, this time i'm not going to use the keyword new no no because i'm going to use again the structure the point yeah the point structure uh, dot and here i'm going to use this field uh, empty which will uh, get uh, this uh, two point x and y the default uh, values of this uh, point points x and y is uh, zero is set to uh, zero yeah so i'm going to use this uh, empty field semicolon i'm going to go uh, lower and here i'm going to use the new uh, point object yeah new p all right uh, and i'm going to get the uh, x uh, coordinate uh, the x uh, axis uh, and i'm going to assign assign it with this uh, value of uh, 500 pixel yeah and uh, another uh, new p to get uh, the uh, y coordinate uh, the y axis yeah and i'm going to assign it with 200 pixels yeah and semicolon all right as i told uh, you to be able to draw uh, various uh, shapes you have to use this uh, graphics class i'm going to uh, create a famous uh, g object again the graphics class uh, dot and i'm going to use uh, this uh, method yeah this uh, method from h w and d will uh, get uh, the event of this button yeah because I, I at this time i'm going to use this button when uh, i want this application when i press this uh, draw a line button to draw a line here on this form so that's why i have to use this uh, method and this method will uh, get the event of uh, of the button which is the click event as you can see here yeah and uh, this uh, will be done uh, using this uh, parameter this uh, handle all right and uh, semicolon let's go further all right so uh, this is uh, not mandatory to be used in this uh, application i mean uh, this uh, smoothing mode which i'm going to write uh, now using this g object yeah but uh, i like to use it because uh, I need uh, a uh, different namespace drawing 2D to be able to use uh, this uh, property smoothing mode uh, which will make the edges of the line or uh, any shapes to be uh, very smooth yeah all right so that's why I, I'm gonna use this one yeah actually the semicolon and now here I'm gonna to write this dot and I'm gonna use this uh, anti-alias enumeration and uh, the semicolon actually uh, this one uh, you can use it uh, actually this is the namespace to be able to use this uh, property smoothing mode you can put it this here in the top of the application if you want yeah because uh, it's uh, recommended to be there if you're gonna to use uh, classes or another objects uh, uh, from this uh, library drawing 2d but uh, i'm going to leave it here because uh, i'm not going to use another classes structure or objects uh, uh, related to this uh, namespace uh, drawing 2d and uh, 
I can leave it uh, here. All right. Now uh, I'm going to create an object, a pen uh, object, using this uh, class uh, uh, pen in order uh, to draw a line. Yeah. And here I'm going to I have to use the new keyword as well. Yeah. And here inside the parentheses, I'm going to use color structure and uh, I'm gonna to use uh, uh, blue. Let uh, let's use uh, blue blue violet. Let's uh, use this blue violet. Yeah. Okay. And uh, next the parameter is the width here. Float uh, width. And I'm gonna to put uh, this uh, ten. Yeah. Okay. Semicolon. And now I, again I'm gonna to use this uh, G object uh, uh, together with the draw line method which will draw a line after I press uh, the draw a line button and I'm gonna to use uh, this overload yeah I'm gonna to use the pen object which is uh, pn and I'm gonna to use the point uh, p1 or the starting point which is uh, this p and uh, after the new point or this uh, point p2 which in my case is a new uh, p which is the ending uh, point of uh, this line yeah and uh, to the end of any uh, drawing application any uh, graphics uh, application using gdi plus it's uh, recommended to dispose uh, the object use the inside this application i mean this uh, g object and this uh, pn object which is the pen uh, objects yeah? here, right. using to draw a line. Okay, here you go. So let's start this application. And uh, let's press uh, this uh, button is not uh, very visible, unfortunately. I think I should make it a bit uh, bigger. All right, good, let's see now. Yeah, now it's uh, visible the text okay now i press uh, this button draw a line and here is uh, my line drawn after i press this button let's make uh, this form a bit uh, bigger yeah okay uh, let's go inside the code let's go upper here all right so i get this uh, pen from here so this is the starting point x 10 y 10 yeah x 10 y 10 this is at the starting point and the uh, ending point is x 500 pixel and uh, here 200 pixel for y yeah obviously we can uh, change uh, this yeah for example uh, if i put here yeah, let it be 200 that means uh, that uh, line on the bottom uh, will uh, move uh, to left yeah because i uh, changed the x for the new point for the ending point start yeah click on the button and here you go you see yeah it uh, came uh, to left because uh, here now the x has uh, this value 200 uh, pixel and why another uh, 200 all right if uh, i want uh, this line to be uh, vertical right uh, vertical okay just um, i need to change uh, here so the x to be the same value yeah and uh, here let's make this uh, like uh, 400 yeah. because now the x uh, is equal as you can see for the starting point and the new point which is the ending point uh, my line uh, will be uh, my line will be completely uh, vertical press on the button and here you go as you can see now the line is completely uh, vertical another uh, structure what i can use uh, to draw uh, for example a line yeah, to draw objects using GDI plus uh, is point F. So I'm going to comment out uh, this uh, code line. I'm going to copy uh, this 
and paste it uh, down here. And uh, if I want to use the point F structure, just I put this F uh, here to the end. And the difference uh, consists uh, in the fact that uh, here I have to use, uh, I've got uh, two overload. Well, as you can see here, plus uh, one overload. The first one uh, is uh, without, uh, if I remove this, you can uh, see better. Uh, yeah, the first one is uh, without, as you can see, without parameter, and the next one is with these two float uh, parameters. Yeah, so I can use the same, like here, 200 uh, point uh, uh, zero, and uh, which is the starting uh, point uh, of drawing a line, 10.10. .10, yeah. And here, to the end of the number, I have to use this F. All right. Here, uh, again, this one, I'm going to comment uh, out. I'm going to copy and paste it in here. And I'm going to write here F. Yeah. And here, F again. The name of the object uh, can be the same, yeah? Okay, capital F, yeah? and not lower f all right okay so that's uh, all so um, this is another structure the point f uh, structure as you have seen the differences consist uh, in uh, using um, float uh, values and not integer values as uh, i used uh, for a point uh, structure and uh, this point f structure has just two overload compared with the uh, point uh, structure which uh, has a uh, four overload so let's uh, release this application again let's uh, press a click on the draw line and as you can see i uh, get the same line here on the form so thank you for watching this video tutorial i'm waiting for you to watch my others video tutorial see you next time bye bye